What's up guys, I've gotten a lot of requests over the years to do a video showing off all of the Omnitrixes I have collected in the time of making Ben 10 videos. I figure with the special occasion of hitting 100,000 subscribers this year and picking up two brand new ones, one of which is right here, I figured I'd update you guys and talk a little bit about each of them. I think you're really gonna like the new custom Omnitrix that I've gotten from Captain Yang Studios. I'm gonna show that at the very end. You're gonna not wanna miss it. But you know, speaking of collections, I wanted to thank today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends, where you can collect a new champion, 100,000 silver, and more for free. Now, I don't know if you remember, but I've talked about Raid Shadow Legends here before on the channel and I'm still impressed that they've been able to fit what looks like a triple-a game onto the size of my tiny little phone here as an artist I've got to give credit to the developers for creating such a vibrant and diverse cast of characters to choose from makes unlocking these characters and using them in game really rewarding and super fun not to mention it's totally free to play. But Xander, I've seen Raid before. What's what's new? Raid just released the Artifact Forge, where you can save time and craft artifacts directly, as well as a whole new advanced quest system with amazing rewards. And that's not all, they also brought out some amazing new champions, and they're developing the amazing looking Doom Tower as we speak, which I'm super excited about. Go to the video description, click on the special links, and if you're a new player, Raid is gonna give you 100,000 silver, 50 gems, 10 mystery shards, and one free champion. All of this treasure will be waiting for you right here. The rewards will be available for the next 30 days and only for new players, so make sure that you collect them ASAP. Thanks again, Raid, for sponsoring my own collection video. Now let's start taking a look at these guys. This Omnitrix is super near and dear to my heart. It's the first one that I ever had. I, fig I figured it'd be cool if I just showed you guys a few of the things that it was able to do. So obviously you can see like the paint has been like scuffed away from many years of usage. <laughs> you can see it's a normal mode. You have battle mode. Status mode, option mode. You got your classics, you got your heat blast, wild mutt, ghost freak, upgrade. If you go back to the menu though, you have the battle mode. And I always thought this was really fun. I remember being like a very imaginative little kid and running around and just like, you know, using this battle mode and it would like, if I can get it to work. Yeah, and then eventually you'll run into a conflict and you'll have to transform and fight him. Oh, we got it to work. It's a villain attack. It looks like it's, uh, I got to transform here. It's a Kraken. So I got to find someone to fight this guy with. Who's going to be good for Kraken? Let's see if we can find Rift Jaws. I'm not gonna lie, I think I actually just figured out how to do this. <laughs> Overall, I think this is a really cool toy. Probably the most functioning toy that I have uh, of an Omnitrix besides uh, the one that came out for the reboot, which we'll get to later. But yeah, this was definitely like my ride or die and I am so happy that this was part of my childhood because it absolutely did the job. So on to the next one, I guess. So I guess I will be covering them in order of ones that I bought, which would be this next one was when I when I did the uh, Alien Force uh, parody. It's supposed to look very weathered um, for the the live action Ben trailer that I did a while ago. So th that has that going for it. But I remember being a little bit weirded out by the fact that this like projector was like a huge part of this design, um, in which you do have the disc here and you can see all the aliens that. Um, that you're, that you're supposed to be able to turn into and project onto the wall. I can see if I'm actually able to do it, though. A uh, very different style of uh, play here, but <laughs> I don't know. It's cool, but you get the idea. It was a very, like, size-accurate um, Alien Force Omnitrix, but you'll see later that I ended up picking up another one. This Omniverse Omnitrix was the next one I picked up so I could do the Omniverse parody um, on my channel, and this one is actually really cool. I love, like, the translucent nature of this one. I know they made one that it wasn't like this. This is the Omniverse Omnitrix Touch version 2, and I think it's probably one of my favorite Omnitrix because it's so bulky, and, like, I know the one in the show is supposed to be a lot smaller, but it just looks kind of cool in general and the fact that it has the functionality like it does in the show where you can just pop this up um let me see if i can actually, if I can actually turn it on yeah the batteries in this guy are like long gone but you get the idea and it's it's really cool one of my favorite ones because it has all that functionality with it yeah you get the idea it's cool it's whatever now those of you who've been following for the channel for a long time will know that uh for the longest time i didn't make an ultimate alien parody after i promised i would for the longest time there's an unboxing of this on my youtube channel 
uh, filmed forever ago, right before I went into work at my other job. I was just trying to get a video out that day, and I never ended up making the video after that. I, I did last, I think it was this year, gosh, it's been such a long year. Uh, I'm glad that I had it, because uh, I think that nowadays these are a little bit more expensive on eBay, if I remember correctly. I don't, I'm not totally sure, but I think this is really it. It's kind of what you see is what you get, but um, I imagine this is kind of what it would look like if it was like a live action uh, Ultimate Alien. Um, Omnitrix, I'm going to see if I can put it on here and see if it still fits my wrist. Not going to work. So it's not going to do the thing that it's supposed to do, but um, it's this is very easy for these to break. That's kind of the only problem I have with it, because if I was to like, I don't know, it's, doing, it's not doing it now, but putting it on is a kind of a hassle. But overall, this one's really cool. I'm glad that I have an Ultimate Alien Omnitrix in my collection here. I wanted to have one to represent all of the series, and so I definitely am happy that I have this one, though. For some reason, I really wanted to have another version of the Alien Force Omnitrix because compared to this other one, um, while the size might be a little different, uh, you can just get you get an entirely different vibe from like at least the dial on this one. It's full and complete, and it always bothered me how this one had sort of a, a dot in the middle of it, and it wasn't like translucent. It's like painted. I don't know. It's very different. This is probably my favorite one between the two of them. I don't have any of the pieces. So the story with this one is I actually bought it on Facebook uh, Marketplace. I was fortunate enough to have someone nearby that was selling it. I mean, what are the odds? I mean, you, you type in Omnitrix on on Facebook Marketplace. or I ended up going to someone's house and they weren't home. And like, it was really weird. I just kind of stood around outside and like, I'm pretty sure it wasn't who they were expecting to show up. It was just some dude looking for an Omnitrix. And I don't know, it was like the strangest, most like like sketchy deal I've ever done in my life. So, so, but anyway, we, we have this at the end of the day, it's pretty cool. I wish I had some of the guys that go on top of it, but so I could show that to you guys, but here it is. And so now I have two alien force Omnitrixes. which one in the comments below, which one do you think is your favorite? Did you have either one of these? Let me know which between the two uh, was your absolute favorite. The next Omnitrix that I actually ended up purchasing was the reboot one. So obviously in 2016 when they rebooted Ben 10, they released a new version of the deluxe Omnitrix. Again, my biggest issue with this is it doesn't stop talking and I really wish there was a version to make it stop saying things. But I do like that inside here, I'll show you in a, in a minute when I turn the lights off, um, that you can see uh, the alien inside and I'll show that in just a second. But you have all this like green glowing. How about this? I will crush you. Okay, that's very uplifting. Alright. Cool, so you get the idea. I mean, it's a pretty straightforward watch and you click this button to make them talk whenever it happens. This one doesn't have any cool modes with it, um, so you gotta be creative, I guess, with how you um, have fun with this one, but I love the green glow on this. In, the, in, the, in, this, in this shot right here, it looks really cool. So, I have to say that this one compared to the other one, I don't know, what do you think about the differences in these two? Clearly there's some differences here. Between the two of them, do you think that you prefer the version with the modes, or do you prefer this version that has a lot of the cool lights? Okay. Alright, yeah. <laughs> anyway, let me know down in the comments below what you think. So now I've got the lights back on again, and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of background on this one. Um, obviously, we were we hit 100,000 subscribers this year on the channel, and that was a huge milestone. And I had actually been looking for a replica Omnitrix of the Ben 10 movie for forever, as most Ben 10 fans have been. And when I came, when I ran across uh, Captain Yang Studios' uh, Omnitrix prop, and I found that he was selling them, I reached out to him and had to get one for myself, and figured, hey, it would be so cool if we turned this into a collaboration, and ended up giving one away, so we'll be announcing that on the Instagram very soon. Make sure you check that out. I don't really know if I would have needed all the extra functionality if I could just have the cool-looking thing. You know, it looks just like the one by Altarian Studios. I think he does make other versions of this. I bought this, the stump, stunt version. It does not light up, um, the button doesn't work, and there's no like twisting of dial, but I think he does or plans to make versions that do. All in all, I am super impressed and thrilled with this Omnitrix. It looks so cool on display, and I'm really lucky to have it in my collection. It's really awesome. And of course, you don't get the full effect until you actually put it on. It looks fantastic on my arm, and if you just... Oh, oh wait a second. Wait, 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 what's happening? Uh, I'm in the middle of filming a video. This this is a bad time for a reboot. Whoa, I never did that before. I don't recognize... Wait. It's the custom Omnitrix by Captain Yang Studios. 
I have to give a huge thanks to Jacob Perros on Instagram for designing this Omnitrix and Eric Yang for building it and bringing it to life in such amazing detail. It's so cool that Eric was able to get this to glow and it's very easy to put on and it's made of very good material. I'm just blown away by how cool this is in real life. You can even twist the dial on this Omnitrix with uh, an Easter egg inscribed along the outside of the dial. Let me know in the comments below if you Ben 10 fans can figure out what exactly what episode this is a reference to. But I love the vents here. It's such a cool detail and it's a different green and material from some of the other things here. More ventilation. It's so cool. I mean, it just it's sort of the size of an Ultimatrix if you were to compare it by size. It's it's more similar to that than just a basic watch, but um, it's so cool. And like seeing them side by side, it's like, wow, I have my own Omnitrix and it's it's unique to, to me and this channel. And it's represented it's representation of everything that you guys have helped me do in the past year or two or <laughs> since I started YouTube. So I really appreciate you guys so much for making this happen. I do actually want to turn off the light here just to see what it looks like in the dark. And yeah, that is so cool. Not only did he give me this, but he also sent along this case uh, in which to display it. So that's so cool. I'm gonna show that in just a second. Well guys, that's gonna be all for my Omnitrix collection video. What Omnitrixes have you collected over the years, if any? And what do you think of this awesome custom Omnitrix by Captain Yank Studios? Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the month and you subscribe down below so you don't miss the cool videos that are gonna be coming soon. So, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, it's hero time.